Hello everyone. Greetings from Bangalore Baptist Hospital. I'm Dr. Rupa KP, Consultant Emergency Physician and here we are to discuss about CPR. What is CPR? When do you do CPR and how to do CPR? CPR stands for Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation. Now it is a process in the treatment of a patient or a victim whose heart has stopped working. It can be done by any non-medical person as long as you know when to do it and how to do it. So when do you do CPR? Now as I mentioned earlier, whenever a person's heart has stopped beating or heart has stopped is when you start off CPR. How do you recognize that a person's heart has stopped? So there are a few aspects that we need to look at when you are going to recognize it. First and foremost is the patient will be unconscious, unconscious, that's the victim will be unconscious. Second thing is the victim might not be breathing. And the third thing, if you are aware of how to check the pulse, there will be no pulse. So I'll be repeating, one is the person will be unconscious, not breathing and not having a pulse. Now when these three things are present, the patient or the person is in cardiac arrest. And that's when we start off chest compressions, which is the major component of cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. So we spoke about what is it, when you have to do it. Now we'll go on to how do you do CPR or how do you give chest compressions. If a victim collapses in front of you, first and foremost you need to identify whether the person's heart has stopped breathing or is he in cardiac arrest. For that we need to check whether the person is conscious or not. You gently but firmly tap on the shoulders and ask, Sir, are you okay? Are you okay? If the person is not responding or is unconscious, next you check for breathing. We check by looking at the movements of the chest. If there is no movements of the chest, that means that the person is not breathing. You do this for about 10 seconds. Now, if you are a medical person, when you are checking for breathing, you will also be checking for a pulse. But if you are a non-medical person, it's good enough that you are established that the person is unconscious and not breathing for you to initiate what is called as hands-only CPR, where only chest compressions are given. So when you have identified a person is in cardiac arrest, that is the person is unconscious, not breathing, does not have a pulse, the first and the foremost step that you need to do is call for help. So until help arrives, that might be medical help or a team of other people who might be knowing more, you can do something called as chest compressions. Now how do you do chest compressions? Always make sure that the person or the victim is made to lie flat on his back on a firm hard surface. Next you place yourself onto the any side of of the victim and then you will have to kneel down if the person is on the floor and then you make sure that you start off chest compressions as soon as possible you place the this part of your hand just on the center of the chest between the nipples and then interlock the other hand with this hand just like as I've shown then you make sure that your wrist your elbow and your shoulder are all in one line so once you have ensured that you lean in forward almost onto the victim's body and then start chest compressions like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so there are certain characteristics or certain rules that you need to follow when you're giving chest compressions the first and foremost is the rate so it has to be around 100 to 120 per minute. That means for every second you give almost two compressions. The next step is the depth. So we have to achieve at least five centimeters. You have to push the chest at least five centimeters down. The third and the most important is you minimize the interruptions. So ideally we have to continue chest compressions for two minutes straight. Unless you get exhausted before that, then someone else can take over. At the end of two minutes, someone else will take over your the chest compressions and you can reassess the victim whether he or she is breathing or is there a pulse back or they regain consciousness so this two minute cycle continues as long as the medical team arrives or you get exhausted so this is the technique of chest compressions that can be delivered by anyone during CPR